Hi, I'm Carl Ruggiello. I'm the director of the retina service of Will's Eye Hospital in Philadelphia. I just got back from the ASRS meeting, the American Society of Retina Specialists annual meeting in Vienna. It was a great meeting. It's a great time in retina because it's still a very dynamic time. There's been a lot of developments over the last decade, both on the medical and surgical side of retina. A lot of great advances, a lot more we can do for our patients, and we're getting better outcomes with a variety of different conditions. In recent past, the most significant developments and advances have come with macular degeneration. What we've come to learn is that early detection is key. To get the best results when we treat wet macular degeneration with the, the drugs we now have available to us, we get the best vision outcomes. So if we can find the patients early, we get good vision and we can maintain that vision. So right now, we have a lot of patients that have dry macular degeneration and they're at risk for turning wet and wet is what threatens the vision in most of them. So we tell them to monitor at home. And at the meeting, what I presented was some research looking at the public health impact of early detection, specifically with a relatively new electronic device that patients use at home to monitor their macular degeneration. That is, they have dry degeneration, and they're aiming to detect the change from dry to wet at its earliest stage, when their vision is still good, and therefore, when they get treatment, have a great vision outcome. What we were able to find in this analysis was that using this device, as opposed to what patients typically do at home, which is just try to figure out if they're having a vision change, is with the device in the United States, we've estimated that we could pick up another 100 to 300,000 cases of wet AMD at a much earlier stage when they have better results. The public health impact is potentially great to find 300,000 new cases of wet AMD over about a five year time frame where we're able to keep the vision at its best level, which is 2040 or better. Because when vision is 2040 or better, you're really unlimited in what you can do. And that's where we like to keep our patients uh, with this condition, because without treatment, it's severe vision loss. And even with treatment, the vision outcomes are not as good if the vision is decreased quite a bit at the time of detection for wet AMD. So it's again an exciting time. And the use of this device, it's called the 4C Home device. Um, and it's an electronic monitoring device that patients can use that have dry degeneration in order to pick up this, this wet stage as early as possible. It's not widely used now. It was FDA approved just a couple years ago, but we really now need to demonstrate the value to society with this device um, so that payers can recognize the importance of it. And like with most new developments, there's cost associated with it, uh, but there's value there. And so it's, it's now a matter of getting payers to understand that value and to cover this device for our patients to be able to use so we can use it uh, in, a, in a more widespread fashion. And thank you for listening. I'm Carl Ruggiello, the head of the retina service of Will's Eye Hospital.